this is not as easy as it looks <laughs> the recipe says finely chopped um this is as fine as i get <laughs> i have got one kanda <laughs> this is my halat <laughs> oh well well hi guys so today we're doing something exciting we're doing a parsi uh cooking uh video if i can stop crying um you know i always people always ask me to cook parsi food i am a parsi and i have never cooked parsi food so yeah lockdown and quarantine is making us do crazy things i have to show you guys my setup firstly uh, as you know my kitchen is very dark so i have my ring light there i have my laptop here because we have a zoom session today on quarantine charity uh, for parsi cooking with chef anita donli which is why we're going to be making sali chicken and a curry so yeah There's a Parsi cooking Parsi food for the first time and also crying on camera for the first time. So these are all my ingredients. I've already chopped them up as per like chef's request she's already sent us the recipe here. Um so I have um some tomatoes onions i will put all the right thing magics in the description you can take a look we have some jaggery some oil uh, a whole bunch of masalas vinegar salt uh, adrak lasun ka paste butter ghee uh, some coriander some chicken and the eggs are in the fridge Okay so Anita I must warn you i have never ever made any parsi food in my life so this is the first That is shocking. <laughs> I can no, only I can only stir fry. So today's video is going to be a Parsi who's making Parsi food for the first time. Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, I mean I'm glad this happened there. Yeah. Today we decided that we we'll share uh, Parsi recipes with you guys because it's super simple. I think people just don't know, uh, you know, what is Parsi food. A lot of people ask me, how do you define it? So for me, it's five uh, different uh, cuisines which come together to make one cuisine. Uh, so for me, it's a mix of Iran, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, and a little bit of the British influence. And today we're going to be doing two dishes. We're doing the sali chicken, um, and we're doing the akudi. We're going to marinate the chicken. We're going to make the masala. We're making one masala. and we're going to take a little bit out from that masala and then make the puri so that we don't have to do two different masalas so this is the chicken supreme we just cut it off and this is the breast piece what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into half and we're just going to cut it into small chunks so that it cooks in about 10 to 12 minutes and we're not going to be cooking it for like 30 40 minutes sorry can you just repeat what all mm -hmm. you put in the chicken ginger garlic paste Okay. For any thick ginger garlic paste, you can add one teaspoon. Okay. I've added salt and I've added this red chili powder and half a lemon juice. We start with little one tablespoon of oil, right? I put one tablespoon of oil and I'm going to put one teaspoon of ghee also in it for more flavor. So I'm just putting the ghee. I put the ghee. I put the bay leaf. Bay leaves are tasty, but that right? Yeah. So cinnamon and uh, bay leaf is what I did now for the kada masala. We're going to be adding our onion. All the onion? All the onion. So both the uh, for both the recipes, we are boiling the masala all together. So I added all the onion. Okay, so I'm also adding the green chili. I've chopped up the green chili. Have you guys added the onion? Yeah. Okay, so I'm adding the green chili now. Again, depending on how spicy you want it, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm a hot mess. Quite literally, sweating it out. Um, Bunoing my onions right now. So far, so good. About a teaspoon of chopped ginger, a teaspoon of chopped garlic. If you don't have any ginger garlic, please. and the paste, how much should we put? One tablespoon is good, na? No? One teaspoon is what I put. If it's thick, minus a little jadoo, like I've got thick ginger garlic paste, like proper. 
Okay, peeps, can you see the sweat on my face? <laughs> That's how much I'm cooking right now. Uh, so we've made like the tomato and the onion and all that, like and the masalas, and it's all uh, like cooking for ten minutes now. And uh, here I have my marinated chicken also, which is just like sitting right now. And uh, Anita is answering questions right now, and then we're gonna move forward. So my tomatoes are a little chunky because I couldn't cut them finely. So should I be mashing this down? No, so you can uh, mash it with if you have a like you know like I'm doing it with a wooden uh, spoon. Huh. So now I'm cooking it open. I'm not putting the lid. I'm just gonna wait for the water to evaporate. We're gonna get the other pan ready for the apuri ka masala. So I'm gonna light up the gas and put some butter. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some oil so the butter doesn't burn. And now. We're gonna take one spoon of this masala. Then I'm just taking one ladle. I'm putting it into this pan, and a little bit, like this much more, like about one four teaspoon of haldi, just to give that color for the food. On this side, where your masala is, don't forget that this can start burning. So if it's getting too thick, add a little bit of water. Now you're multitasking, guys. So. Just make sure that. Also, is the akuri on high? The akuri is on uh, low. It's on low to medium. In the akuri ka masala, we're just putting a little bit of coriander. You want to cook the coriander with the akuri ka masala. Don't be scared to add water into your masala, guys, because it just makes it softer and it just cooks the masala better. Okay, so this is ready. I am going to switch off the gas. Only when I'm going to add the egg, I'm going to add the egg to this masala. We're going to come back to the chicken. So my chicken ka spices are also looking good. Now I'm adding the marinated chicken, and you're going to nicely bruno it till it coats the masala, coats all the chicken. So we're going to add the water now. Mine is pretty wet already, so I shouldn't add more water, right? <laughs> Uh, your chicken will take about 10-15 minutes to cook. Plus, if you want some gravy, so a little bit of water is fine. Okay. I've added the water. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm adding some coriander. If you guys can see a little bit of coriander while it's cooking. Because you want the coriander flavor, and again we're putting the lid on for another two minutes just to make our jaggery mixture. So I'm just putting two teaspoons of vinegar, whatever vinegar you have at home. I'm just putting one teaspoon of sugar, and I'm just mixing it up. I'm just gonna check if the chicken is cooked according to me. It's cooked. Because it's chicken breast and it cooks really quickly. If you guys want to check, I'm sure you guys know how to check. How? How do you check? You just want to break a piece 
and you just want to make sure that that it's not raw it's white it's completely cooked she's looking at her own chicken how can she see this <laughs> i can see i can see okay cool and now we're going to take our uh, jaggery and sugar mixture and we're going to add it so i'm going to first put 1 teaspoon and a little bit more depending on how i want it how sweet do i want it i would not suggest putting the whole thing i would suggest as tasting it as you go because it's a very different flavor of katta mitha you might like it you might not like it at the end you have to eat this for dinner right so i put one one and a half teaspoons and then i'm going to do a taste and i'm going to switch off the gas put the sari on top and i put coriander that's it Okay, peeps. Prep for a curry done. Chicken is in the sali chicken and now, um, and we don't have sali also. Just, just great. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you everyone for donating for Enjoy. Take care. Bye. Thank you. I just want to show you. Thank you. Okay, peeps. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. So I think I put too much water, so I'm just gonna get rid of this water. I'm gonna beat my eggs, which I've already beaten, but just adding a bit more, and then just gonna throw in my eggs. Uh, so you wanna put this down to the low flame, throw in your eggs, put all of it in, and as soon as the eggs get a creamy consistency, you just wanna turn off the gas, is what she said. Um, and i know this happens a lot like my mom says oh the akuri is not loose enough which sounds weird but it's a thing let's hope i get this right the biggest issue i have with the eggs is how do you know when it's like runny or when it's like raw and i've not allowed anyone to come into the kitchen so i'm doing this all by myself and now i don't even have an ahita as guide okay i think i'm going to switch it off she said then to switch off the gas and then keep like kind of cooking and i think it's the right uh, she also threw in like a dollop of butter last minute so i think i did good i'm quickly going to plate the stuff and my chicken um she said to put some coriander on the top for garnish which i'm doing and uh, then i do not have uh, any chips like i don't have any sali or any of that so i'm just crushing some random chips that i had over for the effect since we don't have sali right now but um, we're a shady party household that does not have sali i'm sorry about that but that's done and um leaving a little bit of the coriander for the akuri which i am going to put into this bowl Okay, I still cannot believe I just made this whole meal. Uh super super excited. Thank you Anita for guiding me through this. I'm so glad I took this corn chardi class because without it I would have never made a curry. I've been wanting to do this for like what 3 years now since I got married. I keep saying I'm going to make a curry because I love a curry, but I never learned. So, yeah, it's never too late to learn and finally I've done it. I have cooked. I've given you guys what you all want. You guys wanted Parsi recipes. I've given you Parsi recipes. Guys, these are my final dishes. That's my uh, sali chicken with really fat wannabe sali, and this is my akuri, which is looking pretty darn good. <gasps> Whoa! Bless my soul! What is this specialty in the house today? I wish I could eat sali chicken and akuri every day. Mmm. -hmm. So guys that's it from me I am going to put the ingredients in the description so any of you want to try either of these or both these do that and tag me and tag Anita because this is all her and yeah uh, like this video just for effort guys like look at this light two cameras sweaty sherry and two parsi dishes so yeah like share subscribe and comment below and give me a pat on the back for doing this <laughs> stay home stay safe guys bye